new valve was in, and plumbed up. Really wasn't too bad to do. Uh, I mean, a bunch of these fittings. I don't know if they've ever been done on this bus. And this is a 1967, so didn't have to fight them too bad. They came off, got them all resealed and on there. So the list is getting pretty short. I still need to figure out what I'm going to do to adjust these leveling valves. Because you can see that one, the angle it wants to go at with the way the arm is bent. So I need to get something figured out on those. And then uh, I'm waiting on O'Reilly to drop off a hose so we can fix a power steering hose. And I think it's ready to start this thing up and let it build air. Got our brand new piece of one inch hose right there. That is the low pressure feed from the reservoir to the pump. So just gotta get a couple hose clamps thrown on there, get that tightened up. That should pretty much do it for leaks back here. So once that's done, put some power steering fluid in it. We should be able to see if I can get this thing started up today and let it air up on its own. Once you go tighten up the first hose clamp and I drop my screwdriver and where did it go? Straight into the drain pan that I drained it into. I'm telling you, if you drop something, it's automatically going to go straight towards its swimming pool, whatever fluid you got underneath of it. Let's see, I wasn't trying to drop it there. I was trying to get... I'm going to clean this up. We're going to try that again, this time without a drain pan underneath of it. Both the hose clamps went on. Figures too. You never drop a screwdriver if there's not a drain pan under it. But now that's done, I need to figure out how we get power steering fluid in this thing. I don't think there's a remote fill. I think I actually have to fill through the top of that reservoir. Which if so, that's not going to be very fun. We'll go check real quick make sure there's not a remote reservoir fill point for it. And it shouldn't take that much to it. It should be just the volume of the reservoir we lost. Get that topped up, and then I think we're ready to start filling this thing up with air. So, get it started up and let it build air. Lucked out. It does have a rear fill. I'm just going to dump like a gallon of uh, power steering fluid in here, and should be good. Well, that's in the sight glass now, so make sure it's going to level out right there. And uh, we'll start it, run it, and then we'll check it again afterwards. Oil pressure's coming right up. How's your air pressure? Building. What's it at? About 15. That's quick. Yeah, I never used to do that. That leaky brake valve was taking it out before. Oh, yeah. This thing starts so easy. It does. Okay, so started it up, ran it, got it to build air. There's air in the bags now. It is up off its blocks. Went ahead and got the brake drum on the other side. Slack adjusters are set, so the brake should be adjusted. At least to go take it for its first drive. After we go drive it, we will probably end up having to readjust these things. Because anytime these sit, you get a little bit of corrosion and stuff on the drums. Those will kind of wear right off. And you might have a little bit of a difference after that. So we'll go ahead and adjust them again after the first drive. But it's a lot closer. Power steering level is also spot on. Right there. Right in this set of threads, there's an air leak. So tomorrow, when I come back out here, I will take that fitting off. We'll screw all this out. We'll seal it all up, put it all back together. It's the only air leak I've been able to hear or find on it since we got the new bags on. Getting ready to start the next morning here. And it is not on blocks. Air suspension held all night. Let me go ahead and get this shutoff valve resealed here. I have to 
split it on the back of the truck it looks like because the part that I need is actually this joint right here is where it's leaking but that shouldn't be too terrible just get this apart clean it up real quick we'll reseal it get it back in there and that's the only air leak that I could find after we finished fixing the rear suspension and the leak that we had at the brakes from the bad DD3 all right went ahead and resealed it and got it back together so get it thrown in here and tightened real quick and then line back on it and hopefully no more leaks Nothing's going on these threads because it's not that type of fitting. But the other two, we just went ahead and cleaned them up and sealed them. There we go. As soon as we get this thing running again today, come back here and double check, make sure we don't have an air leak, but I'm pretty confident that that's going to seal that leak up. All right, so one last thing left to go on the bus. I got the back wheels on. They're all torqued up. Uh... Everything's buttoned up and ready to go in the rear. I just got to replace that yarn filter right there. And that is a 65 PSI priority valve for the brakes. So get that swapped out real quick and uh, get this front wheel thrown back on. And this thing's ready to go. Well, actually, I got to check the front hubs too because we changed these hubcaps. They got filled with oil initially, but I have not checked them. So I got to go back and check the other side, make sure this one's good to go as well. But We'll get these knocked out really quick, and then it's time to go take Iron Man for a drive. Got it out of the bus, but now we're going to take it apart, because I do need to take this fitting, that one, this one, and this one off to get this assembled. Now, there's an arrow on it. You can clearly tell they're directional. So what happens is air comes in here. This is a filter for the air, and then this is a priority valve that goes on the end of it. So if system pressure drops below 65, air does not continue to flow past this point. It stops. Everything ahead of this is brake system. Everything after this is the rest of the air. Well, I think we're ready to get the wheels back on this thing, and it's ready to go for a drive. Well, that's going to do it for the refresh of Iron Man. So that bus is ready to go back into service. Next up, probably in the next week or so, we should have Miss Budweiser here, which is another one of Lance's custom coaches, for pretty much the same thing. Um, it shouldn't need near as much work. That one had quite a bit done last year. Not last year, year before last. Uh, it's the one that we swapped from a manual to an automatic on. That's kind of where the Hey Lance started. Um, but... That should be here about a week or so, and just going to run through it, make sure everything's good to go, and that bus is ready to go back into service too.